Let us now move on to lesson two. We are going to do a quick overview of SAP S4 HANA. And in this section, we are going to look at some common definitions. We'll be looking at cloud deployment types and also cloud computing services. The first key term that we're going to look at is HANA. And this refers to in-memory column oriented database server. And this is used to store, receive and query data that powers SAP S4 HANA Cloud. HANA supports online analytical processing, and this is different from traditional relational databases, which can only support online transactional processing. The next key term is S4, and this refers to business suite for HANA, and you can see some of the business suites on your right hand side there. We also have SAP S4 HANA, and this refers to on-premise deployment of the business suite. And then we have the SAP S4 HANA Cloud, and this is the multi-tenant public cloud deployment. And then finally, we have SAP S4 HANA Cloud SIGO Tenant, which is a SIGO Tenant private cloud deployment. So let us have a look at the deployment models. The first deployment model is public cloud. And this is where services are delivered to customers over a network that's open for public usage. Private cloud, on the other hand, is where services are maintained on a private network. And this is usually protected by a firewall. And it's possible to build a private cloud within your own data center, or you can also subscribe to one that is hosted by a vendor such as Amazon Web Services, that is AWS, GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform, or even Azure by Microsoft. We have hybrid cloud, and this includes both cloud and on-premise solutions. And often these are from multiple providers. Then finally, we have on-premise, and basically this is on-premise deployment of the business suite. So let us look at cloud computing services. This is a delivery model that provides computer system resources such as data storage and computing power on demand over the internet. And the core technology that drives it is virtualization. And that allows delivery of several cloud computing services, mainly infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. And those three form the cloud computing stack. And we are going to look at each of them in the next few slides. A good example of platform as a service is SAP Cloud Platform. This platform provides a comprehensive application development services and capabilities. And you're able to build, extend, and integrate business applications in the cloud. You can build APIs that can call services that are outside of SAP. Software as a service is where a cloud provider hosts application and makes them available to customers over the internet. And some of the advantages is that it eliminates expenses of hardware acquisition, provisioning and maintenance, and other expenses related to software licensing, installation, and support. Some examples of software as a service as provided by SAP include success factors, we have field glass, and then we also have Ariba. Infrastructure as a service, we have third party cloud provider, hosting servers, storage, and other virtualized computing resources, and then making them available to customers over the internet. 
So customers actually rent the computing resources and then they can pay per use. A good example from SAP perspective is SAP HANA Enterprise Cloud. This is a managed service and it's great to support mission critical uh, processes. I'm going to mention intelligent enterprise because this is something that we are going to see in the course of our training. It has three components. Uh, the first one is intelligent suite, digital platform, and intelligent technologies. And these are some things that we are going to see in the course of intelligent asset management uh, training within SAP. So the five components of intelligent technologies include machine learning, we have predictive analytics, conversational AI and RPA, that's robotic process automation. So finally, we are going to look at some of the advantages of cloud. The first one is that it provides elasticity affordability since you don't even have to have upfront costs, maintenance, and all the costs that are associated with running a data center. Availability, most services have 99.9 .9 availability. Then we have security. The providers provide security of the cloud, whereas the tenant is supposed to maintain security in the cloud. Then we have innovation. It's a great platform for innovation and then provides agility since you can scale as your workloads grow. So that is a brief summary or a brief overview of SAP S4 HANA. Thank you for your time and remember to subscribe to this channel and feel free to visit bridgesicloud.com for additional training. See you in the next video.